I firmly believe 99% of golfers should use these irons. Let's do it, and let's do it now. If this goes in, then I have to... Now, you're not seeing things. We have covered this already this week, but these are that good. Um, I, know, I know you don't want to miss that. But these are that good. I had to test them on the golf course. And I'm going to get to the title as well, because I believe what I'm talking about here. These look so good. Oh, yes, please. Now, I'll mention the price. 430 quid. 430. You see, guys, I did a video not long ago, and I called it 99% of golfers should use these irons. And we were talking specifically about the tailor-made P790s or tailor-made P770s. And I kind of stand by that, but a lot of the comments said, well, James, they're very expensive. They're really expensive. We can't really afford them. So 99% of golfers probably shouldn't use these irons. And I thought, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Because you guys are right most of the time. Also, guys, if you are new here, please take two seconds, hit that subscribe button below and leave us a like. We're also giving away a set of these Tacoma 201 irons. So to get in the mix with that, comment below 201, like this video, subscribe to this channel and go and check out the other video we've done and do the same. We're going to make two draws and there'll be a winner. Also, go and give the guys at Tacomo a follow on Instagram because what they're doing, bringing budget golf, you know what, not budget, bringing premium but not expensive golf clubs to the market is quite ridiculous. The 101 irons that I tested earlier this year, they were fantastic. They would rival the P790s, they'd rival the Ping I500s, all those high end expensive clubs. It would rival them, right? We've got 150 yards here. I'm going to go with a little nine iron. And these just look so good for the price. If you've not seen the video where I do actually review these and talk you through the numbers, we also have KBS tall C taper shafts and Lampkin crossline grips. It doesn't get much better. Come on. Ah, oh, be good then. Be good, go. Oh, it's delightful. It's still like, you like that, 420 quid. Oh. And now a lot of people might think that I'm obsessed. I've just seen that that spun all the way back as well. That it was closer. A lot of people might think that I'm obsessed with the price here and obsessed with the money. I'm a Yorkshireman, so I don't like spending money if you don't have to. And for me, if you can get a brand new set of golf clubs with quite a cool name, with quite a quirky brand for like, I'm not going to say the price again. I'm just not going to say it. And for that money, you're kind of just, well, winning really. So I'm going to play irons only this evening, see what we can score with them. And again, I'm not going to tell you the price again, but cheap. And if you want to know how responsive the irons are, that's a standard nine iron. So, I mean, it's kind of cost us, but we love backspin. And you see for me, part of the logic here isn't necessarily the score. If I go and shoot three over par, four over par for a couple of holes, yeah, I wouldn't fancy that, but it's not really the be all and end all. If I feel like I've enjoyed myself for that amount of money, got it, oh. then surely you're winning. Because that spare money you could spend on green fees, on memberships, or God forbid on lessons. Go. Oh, you've left it short. Oh, I daren't hit that then after seeing yours. Pa. Now, talking money is one thing, but if these irons looked horrendous, if they felt horrible, then it wouldn't be a good deal, it wouldn't be a bargain. But they look like this. And they feel like that. Oh, yes, please. So, in my opinion, that's kind of a bargain. So 99% of golfers could probably uh, get away with it. And speaking of probably, I probably couldn't have said this about the 101 irons because they're a little bit big, they're a little bit clunky. Yes, they'd be fine for a high handicap and maybe even a beginner who wants a new set, but not a kind of reformed smaller set. These 
look very similar to the TaylorMade P7MCs, very similar to the Ping i210s, actually very similar to these. And I'll hazard a guess, they cost more than 420 quid. They did indeed. <laughs> When we talk value for money, sometimes they might try and get you where they'll do four to nine iron, or they might do five to wedge. These are four to wedge, so it is pretty much a full set of irons. And I can sort of compare them, like I said, to the Ping I210s, to the TaylorMade P7MCs. But looking down at them, they look almost like the Shrixen ZX7s, ZX5s. They look that good, Dalton's having a go with them. That shows you how good... Right, come on. Well, that's telly, but I've gotten away with it, yeah. And you do get the feedback from a bad shot as well, which is important. Go on, mate, you'll go with that. Oh. How good did that feel? <laughs> and I can't stress this enough. I couldn't care less if these were good or not, but... Uh, there, Lovely. That's forged, cool, mate, yeah. yeah. Just so people know, they're forged from, wait, it says it somewhere. S20C, is it? Or Good shafts, KBS. What more do you want? What do you want? 400 pounds. And it really makes me wonder where they could go with this if they did spend the money on marketing, if they did get a Rory McElroy, uh, someone to use them. But then, and that's when the price goes up, that's when the romance gets out of it, that's when it becomes much more of a a marketing thing. And one thing they claim not to do at Tacomo is spend a lot of money on marketing, is pay the tour pros to use the clubs. Maybe that'll change, maybe it won't, but... I mean, how good do they look? Right, I'm a bit upset that you've put it 20 hours past me there, but we'll, uh, we'll forget about it. If you do want to hear more about the technology that goes into these Tacomo 201 irons, how far have we got here? I think 150's there. I'm going to go, we've got about 150 yards, so I'm going to take the wrapper off the 8 iron now. And the 8 iron loft is 35 degrees, so I said this in the review, the loft police, don't worry about it too much. It's downwind, I'm going to go 9, I don't even have to take that off. So, I'm sorry whoever wins. I'm going to go hard wedge actually. That's one thing I do love about them as well, the shape of the clubs just looks really good. Really good, right. That's got to go, that was heavy. It's safe, it's not the best. Can't blame the club, can't blame the club. That was chunky. So some of the technology that is in the Tacomo 201 irons, you can see it there, it's that perimeter weighting. That's designed to give you a little bit more MOI, a little bit more forgiveness. And they also have a beautiful precision milling as well, which is beautiful. It's interesting because if I did compare these, Oh, here they made another one. If I did compare these to the TaylorMades, the Titleist, and the Pings of this world, then you probably wouldn't even see that much of a difference. I'm trying to get out of the sun a little bit, but... Stay up, stay up. Oh, it's another tame one. Maybe I need a cheaper putter. <laughs> that might be... Lap for the fans, that's another part. For 420 quid. And so... If money is a massive thing for you when buying golf clubs, what makes these a good deal? Say if you go and spend $580, whatever these are, and they last you two seasons, they get a little bit worn out, they get a little bit battered, they do feel very, very soft. But then your tailor-made or your Titleist, which are nearly double that price, last you a little bit longer. Which is the best value? Which is the best buy? Or do you just look after them? Probably the right thing to do. Right, four in again. This for another fairway. Just keep the game easy. See if we can play it down. Ideally, if these are versatile, then it's another box ticked. Felt incredible. Oh, how good is that? The sound on that, I can't even get my tea out, I'm that excited. Dolan can't get enough. What's your thoughts on these as a scratch golfer who'd like spending money on golf stuff? What's wrong? Oh, sorry, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I can't believe how good they are for money. 
I could, I could honestly put them straight in the bag to be fair. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I could as well. It's funny though because the top line's a touch. Yeah, thick. yeah. I do. I would like to see that a bit thinner, but I wonder if they're saving room for a smaller one. Possibly yeah. another one. And it's funny because we've said, we've both said here, I'd put them in the bag straight away, but we won't. I won't. I know Dalton won't as well. If it became a bigger brand, a Mura, for example, very similar kind of concept, Japanese forging, then you probably would. Yeah. Strange, isn't it? Very strange. So as we walk down this final fairway, yet again, I'm pretty sure I can see a ball in the middle of that fairway, which I've hit with that four iron. And that for me says it all about these clubs. They look great. The offset in the short irons is a little bit much, but as you progress up through the set, I mean, to put it into perspective, I was aiming, the sun here is horrendous tonight, but I was aiming at that post and uh, yeah, the shot chaser didn't lie, so. The shot tracer didn't lie. Let's see if I can play a really little pitching wedge here. Again, versatility would be important for me if I was gonna game these clubs. It's really a full sand wedge, but we'll see if we can control this. It's about 100 yards. Oh, that just felt wonderful. Don't be long. Oh, a little bit. But again, that divot, the whole club just designed incredibly well. The turf interaction there is everything that I would dream of for that kind of shot. Wonderful. And I can't stress this enough, this isn't a sponsored video. This isn't an ad, it's just an honest opinion. And I do like the fact that they are budget, that they are cheaper because it's just bringing golf to more people. It's making it more accessible and less elite, which is good, very good. Right, I think we have gone a touch long there, so a little bit disappointing, but probably down to me more than the club. I'm going to chip with the pitching wedge again, see if we can hold one for birdie, see if they feel as soft as they do with full shots around the greens. So again, that's another thing that is important when you are testing new golf clubs. Can you chip with them? Do they feel nice? Do they feel nice with the certain golf ball that you use? I'm going to put this out there. I've tested a lot of clubs today, and these feel better than some that were £1,200. Yeah, if this goes in, then I have to play 18 holes with them. Not now, because we're running out of daylight, but on a video. Ah, oh, it was aggressive. It shows you how much I want to play 18 holes with them. So I did come off a little bit fiery. I wouldn't normally chip with a pitching wedge, as you probably all know. I will line that up. But it felt good enough. Let's have some new wedges coming as well from Tacoma, which... That's delightful. That is level par with golf clubs that cost less than something that's £427. I don't know what, would, what that would be. Yeah, yeah! Yes, Dalton, that's why you're here. That's why he's here. That is level par with a full set of irons with KBS C taper shafts in and Lamkin grips on that cost less than his new driver that you bought today. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs>